Hey guys and welcome, welcome to another segment of Rouser World. Today what we're going to be doing is a quick cartoon drawing of uh, Mr. Tom Cruise. So I haven't drawn this particular guy in, in a long time. If you guys haven't checked out my other video, I, when I drew him, it was about 4 million views on that particular video. Um, so I decided to give myself a, a shot at it one more time. So guys, as usual, the first thing that I start out with is my basic head shape. So I, I picture in my head some inanimate object, whether it be a cup, a mug, a block, a rock, whatever shape you can think of in your head that will best describe that person's head. And then you simply draw that shape, okay? So now I'm doing the hair shape here. Usually with the hair shape, I approach it in the same way that I approach the head shape. I just look at what general shape it resembles in my head. And I kind of put that shape down on the paper. This cuts on the amount of times that you have to look back and forth at your reference. Because if you study your reference too long, you will lose the likeness because you will second guess the shape that you saw in your head in the first place. Okay, so now that our head shape is done, we're going to add uh, our little suit and tie here, our Mission Impossible tie. <laughs> I'm going to add some little shoulders here to our drawing. And some lapels here to the jacket. Okay, so next phase of our drawing is going to be our inner shapes. So when I'm drawing the features of the face, I always start from top to bottom and usually left to right because it's like kind of like reading a book is how your how the eyes read the face. Um, placing the eyebrows in the right position will also help you with your with your feature placement. So that's always a, that's just my personal way of starting, but some artists start different so whichever way the drawing comes to you it's okay putting my eyes in here I'm gonna add the bridge of the nose and now we're gonna add the nose itself we our book is going to actually be coming out here in the next two weeks today it is January uh, 2020 so you're going to be able to see uh, some really cool stuff in our book is going to break down the noses and the mouth and the eyes so and it's going to be something cool you can keep with you on your phone and you can study it and it's going to really help out your your, uh, your caricature game so I definitely advise you guys to go ahead and, and get a copy of it it will be down below okay so we're just putting our little expression lines always use expression lines very sparingly <laughs> to be a good caricaturist you must learn how to draw a person using as less lines as possible alright now this is my little thin marker you guys excuse my flower my wife did that <laughs> and I'm just going to use it to start adding detail to my eyebrows you always want to keep a thin marker somewhere because and especially when you're first starting because you may have an issue with being able to go from thick to thin with your marker at first using one marker so you want to keep another one so you'll be able to uh, achieve those uh, differentiation in lines okay so now I'm going to add these shadows now the shadows in the drawing are pretty much to help with dimension in other words the face is not a, a flat object that's how much act it is is round it has sides to it so by using the shadows it's going to make your face look more realistic when someone looks at it so with minimal amount of shadow you can do 
a lot for the dimension in your drawing and bringing out that likeness. This, uh, this gray marker also works wonders where it's not cool to put a line. Like in other words, a black marker might be too powerful to put right there, but you can draw the line with gray and it won't stand out as much. Now guys, we're doing the darks. For the darks, I generally use a poster marker. Okay, so any kind of big marker that's black will work for this. Okay, or whatever color the hair is, but you want to keep a big marker, like a poster marker. Okay, these color a lot of ground really quickly. That's why I like them because as a caricaturist, you don't want to make somebody sit in the chair 45 minutes while you're doing their hair. <laughs> that only happens in real salons. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going down the other side of our shape here. I think everything is looking nice here. Everything is nice and proportional. We're going to add a little bit of contrast to the jacket. Pay attention to how I color, how I leave lines in between each shape so that the eye can tell that this is the lapel of the jacket, this is the shoulder, you know, so on and so forth. Now, this is just in the time where I do finishing touches. So, this is where any small details maybe that person has a gap in their teeth and I want to add a little dark in between that gap right there or maybe I want to add a couple of little hairs or stubbles or whatever I'll do that in the finishing touches part of the drawing so you want to think of your drawing in three phases your beginning your middle and uh, for the sake of not sounding too cliche the end game <laughs> yes all right guys so we're just about done it's gonna add our hairline here I want to uh, take this time to thank you for watching our video and tutorial uh, we'll be posting more videos and tutorials soon if you'd like to have your favorite uh, cartoon person or a person drawn as a cartoon hey uh, put it in the uh, message box there in the bottom. We'll go ahead and uh, get you taken care of, make a video for you. Also, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget also, guys, to share this video. Oh, and uh, stay tuned for our book. It's going to be coming out soon. We're going to make a video for that, too. You guys be cool. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always guys, I wish you happy cartooning.